is a scarf that I made, Anna. Did not design this. This is a design. It's called Toshiko. This is a number four yarn. It's worsted yarn. And I am using uh, number eight knitting needles. And this is what you do with this. Now, on the first row, you're going to knit, you're going to cast on 30. Uh, and you're going to cast on 12, 24, 36 and of course there's going to be 12, 12 and 12. Now on the first row you are going to knit the 36 so uh, it, this is very easy so I think Anna can stay there until I finish the whole row and it's knit 36 this is called a drawstring scarf. Yes, drawstring scarf. It's very pretty, very, very nice because Anna's going to take a picture of it. Yeah, you can oh, wear it long or you can wear it like scrunched up as a, oh, as a oh. collar, kind of like a royal king or <laughs> queen. Um, like Shakespeare. Like Shakespeare, <laughs> yeah. So those, those colors that look like like Shakespeare. Yeah. Row number two. You are going to purl 12. 1, 2, 3, 4. I, I usually recommend that you put like spacers like so like that you know where to change. Then I, I purl the 12. Now I'm going to knit 12. Six, seven, eight, and twelve pearl. So we'll see you in row number three. Row number three is the same as row number one. We're going to knit the whole thing. Now I want to explain something interesting here. The center 12 stitches right there, that means these 12 and these 12 are the only ones that change. The center ones, the center 12 stitches do not change. It's always knit mm -hmm. on, on, either the, side. on on either side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the only ones that change are these and these. That means the first 12 and the last 12. And so row number three is the same as row number one and row number four is the same as row number two. Yeah. So I'll see you on row number five. We already did row number one which is knit. Row number two is purl, knit, purl. Row number three is knit. And row number four is purl, knit, purl. So now we're on row number five in which we're going to do the opposite of what we have here because we already have our four knits here. We want it to look like purl, like that. So we're going to do 12 purls, 12 knits, and 12 purls. So purl, 12. See, now we purl. Since it was knit here, the four, four rows, now we're going to purl. So this, I'm going to do the two main lines because the number seven and eight is a repetition of number five and six. So this is row number five in which we purled 12 and we knitted 12 and we purled 12. Row number six is all knit. So I will see you at the, at the end of this line. Number seven is purl 12 
knit 12 and purl 12. So let's see, that's 12, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, yes. And you can put markers, so feel free to do it. I don't because I'm used to doing this. And I can just check to see where I'm at. And that's it. You look for the turtlenecks or the v-necks? Yes. <laughs> That's how she calls the stitches. The v-necks are knits and the turtlenecks are pearls. Yes. And I learned to identify them now when I'm knitting. So see, that's that's all turtlenecks here. <laughs> so now I have to change them because this is the stitch that has all knits. Mm -hmm. So there's one row of, you know, you can see the knit from the from this side and the pearl from the other side. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> so now we purl the 12 and row number 8 is knit the whole way. And let's see, let's see. Let's see if it's true. So what happens is that one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and this is knit the whole way. Okay. I have a trick. At the beginning of the scarf, I change every time the beginning of my yarn is on the right side, so I know that every four lines on this side that's when I change but over here it's not like I'm going to go all the way at the beginning of it so I put a marker and a piece of yarn on the side when I see these these here that means on this side that's when I change so for example if I wanted to do another change another row which I don't but if I had I know that this is the side where I change. So now we're going to bind off. And we're going to bind off the same as always. We are going to knit two past the first one over the second one. Knit another one, pass that one over. Knit another one, pass that one over another one and pass that one over. Now we're going to put this yarn through. I, the last one always is a little bit loose so I kind of weave this in a little so it doesn't look so loose. That's what happened with me in one of the scarves I made. Yeah, so The like last that. one always tries to run away from me. <laughs> I'm like, I already made you knots all over and now you still are poking out. Oh well. Can be an expert right away, I mean. <laughs> you have seen me knitting like forever. Yeah, I guess that's why I know how to knit already. <laughs> not, not physically, but in theory, now you have to practice it. So I weave it in. And the way I weave it is that I just take... Like, I'm going to take off a few. Let me see. This is it. Oh, remember that I told you something else. I have it in another video. This would be a very good idea to do it here like that. It would not be so noticeable. Remember that we split this yarn. Yeah, let's do it. We split this yarn in half. And then one half we pass it through just a little bit there, just a little bit. Take that off and like that it's almost in the same place you see it's right in there. So now we make a knot and you're, it's not going to show because it's hidden and now it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, now we can weave it in. 
and if you have any glue you can glue it you know the fabric glue it's not necessary but see now you can't see it and the knot is in there somewhere there okay so now we cut that and we do the same as this is, has to come off because this is just to tell me which side I changed the, the, the stitches I will weave those ends later but now I want to show you what to do because this is a drawstring you can use any kind of material this is ute and you pass it through there it has tape at the edge so that it's nice and stiff and we pass it through there and the last one and through there and the last one and what I want to do is pass this all through up and down up and down the whole way hmm. and I will see you when I do it but it's the same you go into the last one and into the first one there So there's really actually one, two, three rows that show on each one. One, two, three. Yeah. One, two, three. And you can you can see the last one of the pearls on this side. And into the first one there. And there's it doesn't have to be exact. I mean really. There's four there there's four here. Yeah, there's four everywhere. Anywhere. It's okay because try to do it on the last one and on the first one, which is that. And I'll see you when I finish this. So I'm doing the last part of the second string, passing it through the last one and the first one. What I'm talking about, the last one is like there with the first Switches. one of the curly part, yeah, like from here to here, mm -hmm. like the last one of the curly with the first one of the curly. Yeah. So, so the blocks, the sections, yeah. yeah. So from here to there. If it's, if the string is not taped, you can tape it yourself. That's so what it's I a did. little stiff? Yeah, that's what I did because um, it came in a roll and so I had to cut it and, and tape it myself to be able to work with it. And, and all four edges are taped, see? This was the way it came, this one I did myself. So then at the beginning and at the end, I made a knot like so. Made it look as pretty as I could. And now there's the drawstring scarf. Let me get this out of the way. And as soon as you draw it, there you go. That's what it looks like. Isn't it neat? Look at that. So Anna is going to take some pictures of it on because it's this goes around your neck like around your neck and look how cute it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. Shakespeare. Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> so and then of course you want it on. You can have it. You can leave it on long lines. So there it is.